What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. This video has been long awaited. You guys have been asking for this for a long time. I see the comments all the time. Everyone wants to see some TC content. So finally, here it is. I'm gonna give you guys a build breakdown on what I have done to the TC so far. Starting from the very first mod that I did with it all the way to the very last. Without further ado, let's get into it because you guys have been waiting for a very long time. Here we go. One of the very first mods I got done to the car was the alarm. Besides the stock one, I had the I had a Viper alarm installed, so I did get an aftermarket alarm. So that was one of the very first things I got done because before that I had a car stolen and I was not trying to have that again. So yeah, I got the alarm done first. The second mod I did was tint because I was living in Cali at the time and it was way too hot. So I got the tents done. All the way around I got a limo tent. Yeah, it was pretty much it. From the beginning it was just tent and alarm then the next mods i got were in the inside all right next mods that i do have done in the interior for this car was a quick release steering wheel so that was one of the next things i did i got one of these man it is kind of hot <laughs> yeah but i got one of these it is the short hub nrg quick release steering wheel um when you do change this the horn will not work I rewired everything and I got the horn to work with the steering wheel. Yeah, so you can see the little wire in there. You have to splice into a specific wire and I got that to work. And I did get the steering wheel to work with the horn. Um, the only thing you do lose is cruise control with this car when you do change it. So that's one thing you gotta look out for if you ever do wanna get one of these things. But this thing cost me like about 120 for the set, but yeah, it is an NRG. You can see right there, NRG, NRG. This was a nice little touch to it because the stock steering wheel was kind of ugly and I like the position of where it sits at. That's what she said. <laughs> this was one of the next mods I did in the inside. Now on to the next mod. Next mod I had done to the car was a Pioneer, Pioneer radio. The stock one wasn't that good. This one actually plays DVDs and everything. So this was the next mod I did to the car. <laughs> I had to get a radio, that stock one sucked. But yeah, I did get a, a Pioneer radio, as I said before, it does play DVD, as you guys can see right there, in the top right corner right there, DVD. Along with the Pioneer uh, radio, I did end up getting Pioneer upgraded speakers all the way around the car as well. And I also got a sub connected with it. Next mod after that was I ended up getting a short shifter for the TC because the stock one, I don't know if you guys have a stock short uh, stock shifter. The shifter, the throw is ridiculous. It starts from all the way up here, drags all the way down here. But when I got the short shifter, this yeah, the shift knob is all jacked up, but it did look nice at one point. You guys will see the difference right now, just watch. super direct it's super fast like this you can shift through it really quick this one the I had to get it custom made but it is a cool short shifter um, definitely changed the driving experience on this car 100% because the short shifter is where it is now we're gonna move on to the outside this is where the outside mods came in let me show you guys what those are the next mods I got done was the visors I needed visors because the car looked kind of naked without them they are kind of beat up they had to get restuck but yeah those are the next ones but i feel like the visors complemented the car like they make it look nice i do also have a short i forgot what they call these things a stub they call these things a stub antenna a little short antenna i got one of those it's in the car somewhere after that I ended up getting some Tame Street Basis Z coilovers. I don't know if you can really see them in the front. Let me see if I can show you in the back. Oh, there you go, yeah. So I got Tame suspension on this thing. It has a full set of coilovers. They're not fully adjustable, they're just a street basis. Then, next thing I got done was the fog lights and the grills this grill is in the car it came off but i have the grill and i got the trd badges i gotta get one of those again 
the headlights have to be redone, but I did get the fog lights and the grills. Now onto the exhaust and how I did it in the steps. When I first went for the exhaust, I was looking for a specific one and I did end up finding it. It is a HKS high power axle back. So the, I ended up getting it off of somebody who was sponsored by them. He had a second one, so he just sold me this one. But yeah, this is for everybody who has been asking what exhaust I'm running in the back. After that, from the same guy, I don't know if you can see it from here, but you can barely see it. Oh, there you go. I'm running a Megan Racing, well, mid-pipe. I'm, I'm running a Megan Racing mid-pipe. This is another exhaust part that's pretty hard to find right now. So I ended up getting that paired with the HKS. I don't have the overpipe. It's still the stock one. But moving on to the engine, I'm running a header. This header is probably, I'm probably one of the only people in in the world that actually still has this thing because this is discontinued, not gonna find it anywhere. This is a Dizod Green. It does come with a cat. So, it does come with a cat on it right there, just like the stock one, but it is smaller. So if you get this, if you get a header for this car without a cat on it, it'll be super raspy and it's annoying. It's so annoying. I took, I bought one and I took it off instantly found somebody who was selling this one um did research on it. it was discontinued and it had a cat so i ended up buying it right now you still can get these odd but the these odd reds those are all catless you're not gonna get a catless one i mean you're not gonna get a catted one unless somebody actually has one and they're still selling it so this is probably one of the only ones that are left <laughs> anywhere else and it does help with the rasp besides the header i'm running a short ram intake it is kind of dirty, I have to clean all this. And guys, so that's my full exhaust setup. Everything I got done to the car right now, pretty much. Um, wheels. It is going to be getting another set of wheels soon. That is coming. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned for that. But this is pretty much everything that I have done to the car. This rear lip was stock. The side skirts were stock. The spoiler came with was stock and the front lip that is on the car is all stock. It all came on this car specifically, a 2008 model was the one that came with it. It was the only one that came in this color and these side skirts and stuff. So you would have to get a 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Right now at the moment, as I said before, the rims are coming, because it is, it is getting another set. So right now at the moment, it is rocking the FRS's rims. I did have to modify the rim to fit, but they do fit. <laughs> oh, and the sunroof works. So if you guys are having issues with your sunroof, I can show you exactly what to do if you think your sunroof is broken before you go and spend $3,000 on a brand new one because I was not trying to do that. I got mine to work again. But yeah, that is all that is done to the car pretty much. That's all the mods that are done for everybody who has been asking because it has been a while. I said I was going to drop it. I haven't dropped it. I've been busy, but that's everything from top to bottom short shifter steering wheel full exhaust system suspension fog lights the sub new radio brand new speakers so i pretty much did everything to the car the grills the front badge everything's pretty much done to this car there could be so much more done with it but yeah if that's something you guys want to see or if you guys have any more questions on the car just drop it down in the comments i do read them you can get content on the both of them so just let me know what you guys are trying to see and subscribe to the channel Thank you guys for watching. I hope, you know, this helped you guys on what you guys have been asking and what's done to the car. See you guys in the next one.